The defense readiness condition is an alert state used by the United States Armed Forces. The DEFCON system was developed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Unified and Specified Combatant Commands. It prescribes five graduated levels of readiness for the U.S. military. It increases in severity from DEFCON 5 to DEFCON 1 to match varying military situations. DEFCONs are a subsystem of a series of alert conditions, or LERTCONs, which also include emergency conditions. Operations. The DEFCON level is controlled primarily by the U. S. President and the U. S. Secretary of Defense through the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Combatant Commanders, and each DEFCON level defines specific security, activation and response scenarios for the troops in question. Different branches of the U.S. Armed Forces and different bases or command groups can be activated at different defense conditions. In general, there is no single DEFCON status for the world or country and it may be set to only include specific geographical areas. According to Air and Amp Space Smithsonian as of 2014, the worldwide DEFCON level has never risen higher than DEFCON 3. The DEFCON 2 levels in the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis and 1991 Gulf War were not worldwide. There is no single DEFCON status for the country, and in fact different branches of the military in different geographic locations can be at separate defense readiness conditions at the same time. DEFCONs should not be confused with similar systems used by the U.S. military such as force protection conditions, readiness conditions, information operations condition and its future replacement cyber operations condition, and watch conditions, or the former Homeland Security Advisory System used by the United States Department of Homeland Security. Levels. Defense readiness conditions vary between many commands and have changed over time, and the United States Department of Defense Defense uses exercise terms when referring to the DEFCONs. This is to preclude the possibility of confusing exercise commands with actual operational commands. On 12 January 1966, NORAD proposed the adoption of the readiness conditions of the JCS system, and information about the levels was declassified in 2006 history. After NORAD was created, the command used different readiness levels subdivided into eight conditions, e.g., the maximum readiness level had two conditions, air defense readiness and air defense emergency. In October 1959, the JCS chairman informed NORAD that Canada and the U.S. had signed an agreement on increasing the operational readiness of NORAD forces during periods of international tension. Quote, after the agreement became effective on 2 October 1959, the JCS defined a system with DEFCONs in November 1959 for the military commands. The initial DEFCON system had Alpha and Bravo conditions and Charlie Delta under DEFCON 4, plus an emergency level higher than DEFCON 1 with two conditions, defense emergency and the highest air defense emergency. Cuban Missile Crisis During the Cuban Missile Crisis on October 22, 1962, the U.S. Armed Forces were ordered to DEFCON 3. On October 24, Strategic Air Command was ordered to DEFCON 2, while the rest of the U.S. Armed Forces remained at DEFCON 3. SAC remained at DEFCON 2 until November 15. Gulf War. On January 15, 1991, the Joint Chiefs of Staff declared DEFCON 2 in the opening phase of Operation Desert Storm during the Gulf War. Yom Kippur War. On October 6, 1973, Egypt and Syria launched a joint attack on Israel resulting in the Yom Kippur War. 
the U.S. became concerned that the Soviet Union might intervene, and on October 25, U.S. forces, including Strategic Air Command, Continental Air Defense Command, European Command and the Sixth Fleet, were placed at DEFCON 3. Over the following days, the various forces reverted to normal status with the 6th Fleet standing down on November 17. Operation Paul Bunyan Following the axe murder incident at Panmunjom on August 18, 1976, readiness levels for American forces in South Korea were increased to DEFCON 3, where they remained throughout Operation Paul Bunyan which followed thereafter. September 11 attacks. During the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, the U.S. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld ordered the increased DEFCON level to 3, and also a standby for a possible increase to DEFCON 2. In other media, DEFCON was used significantly in the film's war games, 13 Days, Watchmen, Independence Day, The Sum of All Fears by Dawn's Early Light, Crimson Tide and Canadian Bacon. The television series Deutschland 83 depicts the events which transpired in 1983 when the level was raised to a simulated DEFCON 1 during NATO. Exercise Able Archer 83 in the storyline, briefing papers released under the Freedom of Information Act reveal that a major war games exercise, Operation Able Archer, conducted in November 1983 by the US and its NATO allies was so realistic it made the Russians believe that a nuclear strike on its territory was a real possibility.